Hey gang, your old pal Ian Pinman out here in the wonderful Texas daytime uh, doing something different here. Just figured uh, I'd bring you along for a little uh, adventure. Uh, I went and I got a uh, pinball machine today. But what I wanted to talk about is something a little different as far as um, what I use um, as far as tools and things that I bring with me when I go pick up a pinball machine. So I figured some of you guys might be curious on that and uh, just figure I'd cover the subject. Why not? It's a nice day. It's raining in between here and there, but uh, right now it's nice and sunny. So figure uh, we'll just get into this. All right, now just keep in mind that this is what I do. And uh, what you're going to do might be something different, different tools that you bring and uh, things like that. So I'm not saying my way is better than yours. I'm just wanting to show you how I do it my way. And just like I, you know, grab certain things, you're going to do that. So you do it your way. But anyway, let's go see how I do it. All right. So starting off in the cab here of my truck, which I got a 2003 Ford Ranger, uh, I make sure I grab a uh, Nice uh, Milwaukee drill. I got that for drilling out locks and stuff and pinball machines if people have lost their keys. Uh, this happens once in a while, uh, not as often as you think. Also, just basics, you know. Um, you're going on a long ride. Today's ride was a three hour round trip. A little bit longer than that when you stop for gas and that, but make sure you bring along water, little snacks, you know, stuff to, just to uh, keep you going, you know, when you're running low on energy. Also, depending on the weather, it's nice weather here. It's, you know, almost probably 90. Um, I brought a hoodie with me because, hey, you know, it was raining off and on, so you don't want to get soaked and you want to have some protection. All right, I'm kind of doing this in reverse of, of uh, going to the place that I would pick up the pinball machine. So reverse order here, because um, it's already been loaded up. It's in my truck. I'm actually in unloading. And uh, you know, um, you can carry stuff at different places, obviously, depending on what kind of vehicle you got. You know, if you got a truck, you're going to do it differently than an SUV versus a van. So that's all. Like I said, uh, I'm using a truck today, so this is how I'm doing it. All right, I put the pinball legs up front with me. Sometimes I wrap them up in that so they don't get scratched up, but uh, these things are rusted in that. And I'm not too worried about it seeing they're like 55 plus years old. Okay, basic tools here. I got two bins like this, and I just grab them out of my arcade. So what do I got in there? I got things like uh, drill bits, because you're drilling out locks, so you're going to need those. Just an assortment, um, different kinds here, don't know if you could see that. Um, maybe that's a little bit better. But always good to bring more than one because, hey, you're starting to go through a lock and it breaks. The drill bit, that is. <laughs> it's good to have a second one ready. And size, well... You can use different sizes. There's no, not one set size. You'll know what you need just by looking at the lock. And, you know, like I said, I grab more tools than I need, but, you know, the, the motto of uh, better more than less works in this uh, case. So we got, you know, I brought a hammer in case things get tough and screwdrivers and that. Uh, main thing you want to make sure you bring is... Uh, socket wrench with 9 16 and 5 eighths. The 9 16 you're going to be doing uh, the bolts on the head of the machines, taking those off, and uh, 5 eighths for the uh, legs. Now sometimes they're the old 9 16 head, so either way you're covered there with those two. And I would bring a, a wrench and, uh, and sockets, because you never know when one of them goes out or you lose one. Always have a backup. Another backup I have too, you know, uh, crescent wrench. Crescent wrench is great because, hey, if you forgot a, a tool or one's broken or lost, you can make it anything you want with a crescent wrench. Also not a bad idea to have vice grips.
So let's see. Another bin here. Um, just got stuff like, um, well, these actually stay in the truck. Not a bad idea. Bungee cords, good for tying down your loads and stuff, whether it's inside or out. I like the rubber ones myself. Um, you know, tape measures in case, uh, extension sockets. You can throw your nuts and bolts from the, the legs and stuff in one of your bins. Uh, just more more screwdriver stuff like that. You have to, some hemostats here. But like I said, these things I have in my arcade, they're kind of like my general tool, so they're just easy for me to grab. I don't need all this stuff, but it's just convenient for me just to grab these two bins. So, there's that. The gloves. Take your gloves. That's always nice when you're picking up the heavy stuff, like the machine itself and your, your carts, you know, whether it's the pinball cart or um, what the heck, a uh, dolly. Let's see. So... That's kind of it for that um, on the inside here. So we'll move with, we'll move to the back next of the uh, bed, and we'll go from there. See you soon. All right. The other thing you don't want to forget on the trip: your glasses. If you wear them, don't forget it. I take two different pairs: one higher strength, one lower strength. That way, in case I'm in a dark area and I can't figure out something I'm trying to take apart or, or that, I'm, I'm prepared. So uh, here we are at the tailgate and uh, what I'm going to do is just the reverse order of taking things out of how I put them in so you just kind of get an idea of how I load the truck and, and what things I use um, for protecting the, the cargo and, and that. So here we go. Gotta have a dolly. Don't forget that. And generally, I put the head to the back of the tailgate. Now you get to unveiling what I picked up. There you go. 1966 Williams Hotline. Um, I haven't picked up a 60s game in quite a long time, so uh, this is kind of neat. And what I remember as a kid, it was the uh, first game I ever remember playing. It was in a bar, probably about 1969. And no, I wasn't old enough to legally be in a bar at that time. <laughs> So as you can see, I got moving blankets. For one pinball machine, I grabbed three of them. The moving blankets are kind of cool because uh, you can get them free if you uh, ask for them, if you ever get like a pinball delivery from STI and that. Uh, generally, the machines will be wrapped up with these blankets and you can just say, hey man, can I have the blankets? And they'll give them to you because most of the time they're torn up and not that great anyway. So you can generally get maybe two or three blankets every time they ship. So hold on to them. It'll help you out. Next up will be a cabinet. Um, I have one blanket that I put around the cabinet, one around the head, and one around my pinball dolly. Also, when you're loading these in, make sure you put the bottom side out so when you drop it on the ground, it's got the protectors and you're actually getting it on the dolly the right way. Very important. You put it in backwards and you got to twist the whole thing around and probably wrench your back doing it. So, it's a little advice there. I think I accidentally did load one backwards one time, but uh, I don't remember getting any serious injury out of it, so I escaped that. Another thing it's good to have, 
get those gloves. I'm gonna get them right now. All right, we're definitely in business now. Now with me and the tailgate here, it's really nice because the Ford Ranger isn't up that high, so I can generally load and unload these by myself as far as the cabinets. And if you can do that by yourself, the rest of it, you're home free. Bingo, done deal. As you can see, like uh, I have these uh, bungee cords I talked about earlier. You can see them here. You use that to secure the head on the back. The rest of it was all nice and tight, so um, between the moving blankets and that, it was set. And last but not least, the third blanket covering the pinball dolly. That's right, I brought a pinball dolly. You might be thinking, wow, that takes up a lot of room bringing your pinball dolly. It's like, yeah, but when you're by yourself, you need a second hand, that pinball dolly is your second hand. Because even today when I went to go pick up this pinball machine, the people said, bring two strong guys. Well, one more besides yourself because uh, it's heavy. I said, don't worry about it. I have the tools and I have the means. And you can too. That's Pinball Dolly, I think it's called a Penguin. I bought it off of eBay, oh gosh, probably uh, over a decade ago. It's probably around 400 bucks. A lot of guys will use like motorcycle ones and convert them from Harbor Freight. That's fine too, I got a buddy who did that. He can haul around his air conditioners on him because he has a bunch of window units. and That works for him, so he gets to move pinball machines and air conditioners. Oh joy, right? Anyway, let me get this thing down. Sorry about the noise in the background, that's the air conditioner for the house. So, um, all right, pretty much got everything unloaded there. The head's just ready to get picked up and brought in. Um, that's all I'll bring in first, but there you go. That's uh, how I load the truck. And um, basically, I can get two pinball machines in here, but I'd have to turn the cabinets on their side. And uh, I'd put one of the heads in the back like you saw but I'd also have to put one of the heads in the passenger seat in the truck. So that means I'm kind of by myself, but it also means I can't bring my pinball dolly to help me. So in that case, I'm picking up two pinball machines. Hopefully the guy on the other end who I'm buying from is there and a strong guy and he can help me without uh, needing that, you know, as far as taking off the legs and stuff and holding up the machine while doing it. Um, but like I said, when you're by yourself and you got a pinball dolly, man, it saves your back and uh, it's just nice. It's sweet. So uh, I think that's about it there, guys and gals. I hope uh, you enjoyed this video on that and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.